You are going to want to take a cat and nine tails to my bare buttocks when you hear this, but I forgot to write down who this is for, but we're doing Kirk Hammett. Now, you know him because he's the guitar player, lead guitar henchman for uh, a band called Metallica. And whoever this was, please get down in the comments and tell me because we're doing a song called The Incantation. I don't know if it's going to have words. I don't know if Kirk Hammett sings or it's going to be one of them... Uh, God, I hate to say this, but slightly boring uh, guitar rippers, you know, I never really liked, you know, I love Steve Vai, I love Joe Satriani as guitar players, but boring to listen to their records. I think you've got to be a guitar player. So perhaps whoever put this request in for the incantation from Kirk Hammett is a guitar player and they, they love it. But they says it's absolutely fantastic. So that's exactly what we're doing right here today. I do remember that. They said it's absolutely fantastic. Their name, I can't remember. So get down there in the comments. But let's learn about Kirk Hammett a little bit here on his Spotify solo page. And then we're going to get into that song, okay? Uh, Kirk Hammett, he's got 36,590 monthly listeners on his uh, Spotify account. High plane, uh, uh, top five jammeronis. He's got in the number one slot, High Plains Drifter. It's got 1.1 million plays. Maiden and the Monster. I know he's a horror nut. Uh, 415,000 plays. In the third slot, you got I Have Seen the Way. And it's got 322,000 plays. The Gin. All right, he's, he loves horror. 333,000 plays. And in the fifth slot, Satan. 401,000 plays. Does James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich know you're over there writing songs about Satan? And you're over, and they, they, I, they better get wise to it. I don't know if they'd want you in the band if they knew you were writing songs about Satan. Made in the Monster? I'm telling you. This album's Portals, and it came out in 2022. So apparently this is the only stuff that he's got. Let's look into them related artists. This is going to be fun because it's probably just going to be solo guitar playing peoples. Uh, Marty Friedman, Paul Gilbert, Steve Vai, Diamond Head, there you go, Death Angel. See, when you run out of the guitar vir virtuosos, is Ingve going to be on here? Uh, Bastard Dane, I know that's one of those Metallica kids. You got the lovely Overkill, Newstead, Flotsam and Jetsam, Gus G, uh, Exodus, and Annihilator. So that's his related artist. But they got all the big ones out of the way, except for Ingve, Marty Friedman, Paul Gilbert, Steve Vai, and then they're like, what do we do? Just put some of them thrash bands. He's Metallica. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look into the bio ever so quickly, then listen to the song Cantation. And you've got an older picture of him, and it's a, he's in a white room, and he's got that luscious dark hair and the sunglasses on. He's saying, man... I have hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank. My God, my life is great. Shane, get over here, and perhaps I will buy you a soda pop out of the machine, but that's all you will get, because you will not get any of my millions, because I take it for myself. An elite heavy metal guitarist whose fleet, ferocious, and fluid playing style helped define the Bay Area thrash sound. Kirk Hammett co-founded Speed Thrash Luminaries Exodus before becoming the lead guitarist for Metallica, making his debut on the 1983's Kill 'Em All. Hammett has appeared on every one of the group's albums and has written some of the most iconic riffs, including 1991's Platinum Certified Sandman. In 2022, Hammett issued his debut solo effort, Portals, a wide-ranging set of cinematic instrumentals that paired virtuosic shredding with eerie orchestral soundscapes. Now, this intrigues me. This might not be as boring as those the rest of those guitar-playing instrumental albums. Let's go to it. The incantation. We do it now for whoever you are out there. This is the, the uh, titty pie. I give you a taste. We listen to the song together. Want to do it? Let's do it. Incantation. It's the fourth one on this. Uh, the... Is that a sitar? See Luke Skywalker looking over the hills. What happened to Uncle June? Shut up, R2. 
Is that French horn? I'll shit in my hat if you played these horns, too. Did he use machines and stuff for the instruments? Wow! Is he just playing the distorted guitar notes there? I think I might like this if he doesn't do a bunch of solo shredding. Metallica mad that he didn't turn this song over to them? There he is. His whammy pedals. I like it. What did it use a drummer or a drum machine? There's a Lars. This is something you can play in your yard on Halloween with the lights all over your house. I'm gonna check and see how long this is, if it's like 85 minutes or if it's just like a... That's a real drummer, it's not Lars either. That's a sitar. This is not, this is not bad. I'd love to hear what he was thinking about. Because when you're just doing this solo-wise, you gotta, you take, it's gonna have to be some kind of a journey, right? What is the incantation about?
You always gotta have a little bit like this in there. Means the troops are coming. Not Lars. Not Lars. Yeah, bigger, fuller, spastic energy. I bet, I bet Kirk Hammett could get anybody to come play on his record. Meg White. Could have got her easy. It's almost like a Metallica song. Metallica should write a song like that. And you settle with the three suns setting in the, over the dunes. And uh, Luke Skywalker looking back at the burned corpses of his aunt and uh, uncle. I'd love to. That was not, that was not a bad jam. I mean, it was not a bad little, you know, it's not, okay, guys, it's not uh, Oingo Boingo fella, right? It's not, uh, it's, it, it's not that level, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too, you could put some lyrics on that thing for the most part. Get old John Oliva on there, Sabotage. There you go. You got a Sabotage hit, hit song right there. I bet you Metallica, they, they want to listen to that record first. They say, before you put this Portals record out, we want to listen to it. Make sure you're not go ahead and hogging all these sweet riffs so we could go ahead and, you know, do. I saw a little uh, interview where they says, how did you do the, the, the Enter Sandman riff? And he went... What like like, and Lars's bit in there was do three of those and then put the tail on it, and then it's like 50-50 songwriting. He goes, you mean like this? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, what say you? Most important part of my videos as always is where you get in the comments and tell me exactly what you thought of it. Maybe you might say, Shane. I thought it was lame. It, it, it wouldn't spook me. The incantation is supposed to spook me. It's supposed to scare me. It's supposed to be something they want to use on a, on a horror movie. This didn't do any of that. Or maybe you loved it. Good, great, fantastic Shane. I love Kirk Hammett. He is the greatest guitar player of all time. I love Metallica. I, Kirk Hammett can do no wrong in my eyes. What do you think of the record Portals? What do you think of the record 72 Seasons that he's currently on, if you didn't know that? Uh, All-time favorite uh, Kirk Hammett moments. Um, do you know Kirk Hammett? Uh, have you ever seen Metallica or any of his little projects uh, anywhere live? You know, it gets more and more expensive to go see Metallica these days. It's like $200 or whatever. It's like, I can't, I can't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, get over there. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it was just, uh, I'm, I'm going to admit something. I'm just like you. I'm not a fan of the guitar guitarists that go and do solo records and they don't put the guy singing on it. It just doesn't sound good to me. Not my cup of tea. Don't want it. Don't need it. Never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below. Don't you know? Thumbs up to one and all out there. Uh, 
If you have a request you'd like to see it on the channel, hit the links or put it in the comments, okay? We'll see what we can do for you. Um, yes, Kirk Hammett.